differentiate. Differentiating polynomials is not so bad. I mean, for example, if I wanted to, uh, you know, differentiate some polynomial, maybe 2x minus 4x cubed uh, plus 3x to the 10th, say, right? All I've got to do is just remember my rules for differentiating. You know, I differentiate these sums and differences by differentiating each term, and then I can differentiate a power just by bringing down the power and subtracting one, right? So the derivative of 2x is just 2. The derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared. The derivative of 3x to the 10th is 30x to the 9th. Turns out it's not too much worse to differentiate a power series. Well, here's how you do it. It's a theorem. Suppose I've got some power series and I'm calling that f of x. And big R is the radius of convergence of this power series. So for any x between minus r and r, this function f of x is defined to be the value of this then convergent power series. Now here's the, the theorem then. The derivative of this function f is this, the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of n times a sub n times x to the n minus 1. And if that looks mysterious, <laughs> where is that coming from? Well, that's just the derivative of a sub n times x to the n. So this is telling you that if you want to differentiate a function which is given to you as a power series, well then the derivative is just the sum of the derivatives of the terms of the power series. You can differentiate term by term. This new power series has the same radius of convergence as the old power series, and this power series for any value of x between minus r and r is equal to the derivative of this function which is given to you as this power series. At this point, you might be wondering why I'm even calling this a theorem. I mean, what's the big deal? Yeah, you might be thinking or remembering that the derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives. So what's the big deal? I mean, isn't this something that we already know? The situation here that the derivative of a power series is the power series of the derivatives, that's actually way more subtle. Well, the issue is that that's not really what we're talking about. It is true that the derivative of a sum is just the sum of the derivatives, but what I'm asking here is whether the derivative of a series is the series of the derivatives. That's really something more complicated, right? What's the definition of the series? Well, it's the derivative of the limit of the partial sums. And I'm wondering, is that the limit of the sum of the derivatives? And although we do have a theorem that the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives, we don't have a theorem. And it's not true in general that the derivative of a limit is the limit of the derivatives. So it's a big deal. The fact that you can differentiate a power series term by term, it's a theorem. I mean, that's really something that's not obvious. We're not going to prove this theorem, but we are going to make use of it. And I think you'll find that it's extraordinarily helpful.